Hello everyone. Welcome back to Luxury Pro. I'm Pallavi Sehgal. And today's video is a little bit different from the videos that we usually do. We usually post videos about what's happening in the luxury industry and how all those changes make sense from the business perspective for the luxury industry and the luxury brands. But today's video is one of the projects that I did when I was doing my master's in luxury business last year. And um, this is one of the projects in my project portfolio. And also just to give you a little bit of introduction, it is about Tiffany, the various designers who have worked for Tiffany and specifically Elsa Peretti, her designs for Tiffany and the legacy that she has left behind. So I do hope you enjoy this video. Now, Tiffany as a brand needs no introduction. It's the quintessential American brand. It has a 200 year old history and its legacy is inextricably linked to that of Charles Louis Tiffany, whose passion for acquiring rare and unusual gemstones paved the way for the legacy of Tiffany as it is known today. He himself was known as the King of Diamonds and He's also the one who established the diamond engagement ring as an enduring symbol of love, the, the thing that we recognize so well these days. Uh, this is the Tiffany blue box. Now, uh, the moment you see this blue box, you know that it's Tiffany. The moment you see the actual blue color, you know it's Tiffany. That's how strong the brand equity of Tiffany is. Now we'll go through a couple of designs that Tiffany is known for, a couple of iconic designs of Tiffany. And uh, definitely we need to start with the diamond solitaire engagement ring and the kind of setting that Tiffany brought into and it's still owned by Tiffany. It's still trademarked by Tiffany. Next we have the other iconic designs, the Tiffany keys, the Tiffany paper flower collection and Definitely the Tiffany T1 and the T collections that Tiffany is so famous for. This brings us to the designers of Tiffany. We have John Schulamberger and Paloma Picasso. And finally, Elsa Peretti. Now Elsa Peretti uh, is the designer that we are gonna focus on today. We are gonna take, take you through uh, what uh, her design aesthetic is and the kind of legacy that she has left behind for Tiffany. Now, Elsa Peretti was born in Florence and she was educated in Rome in Switzerland. She uh, started her career as a model and it was through her collaborations with Halston that she actually got the platform to become a designer for Tiffany. And it was in 1974 that Elsa Peretti joined Tiffany and it is said that she revolutionized the design with her sculptural aesthetic and her modern sensibility. Now, uh, this is when I was researching about uh, Elsa Peretti and her designs for Tiffany, there was one quote that kind of stood out because it is said that when new collections are launched, there is a huge uh, queue of people to see the collection, but very few buy that. But then it was reported in Vogue uh, and it was said by the Tiffany director at that time that people were actually buying and that is what made him happy. Let me take you through the quote. It was said that what had been a cult size order exploded into a national passion and suddenly everybody's collecting Peretti. Vogue noted, from New York to California, wherever there's a Tiffany, there are lines and they're not just looking. Thank you. That means they were actually buying. That is what uh, the court was trying to say. Which brings us to Elsa Peretti's design aesthetic. Uh, there are a couple of things that uh, Elsa Peretti uh, used to stand by and which kind of, uh, stayed with me as I researched about her, her designs. And uh, it's mentioned in this slide. She said that there are no new designs because good lines and shapes are timeless. Her designs were individualistic and as was Elsa Peretti herself. Her designs invited touch. They were inspired by found objects, by bones, by beans, by tears. And like her, her designs elicit emotion and were intended to be lived with rather than admired from a distance. Another thing that struck me was that she said that restraint is that rare talent of knowing how to strip the design down to its essence and pair it with the confidence to leave it that way. And that everybody said was central to Elsa Peretti's genius. Now, um, we are going to take you through a couple of designs by Elsa Peretti, the Diamonds by the Yard collection, which is perfect for layering. And uh, 
I'll also share with you a couple of celebrities wearing her designs. Here we can see Kate Middleton wearing the Diamond by Yards bracelet. And it was during uh, the St. Patrick's Day celebration in 2012. Then we have the Elsa Peretti's famous, famous bone cuff collection. And um, what I also found was her um, mood board for making this bone cuff. And it is said that this piece was inspired by the bones of monks that Elsa Peretti found when she was a child in a 17th century church in Rome. Here we can see Sarah Jessica Parker and Margot Robbie wearing the bone cuff collection. Then we have the Elsa Peretti open heart collection. And here we have Renée Zellweger in Bridget Jones' diary wearing her open heart collection. Um, the Elsa Peretti mesh scarf neck, uh, and necklace. Uh, the bean design collection by Elsa Peretti. And finally, that famous Elsa Peretti bottle. Now, if you see pictures of Elsa Peretti, in a lot of her pictures, she herself is wearing this uh, bottle. And... Um, the, uh, the, this slide also gives you the Elsa Peretti uh, bottle uh, mood board. And um, here are the scorpion pendant and the snake necklace. And it is said that uh, these were inspired by the scorpions and the snakes that Elsa Peretti found near her home uh, when she was living in Spain. This brings us to Elsa Peretti's legacy, one of my favorite slides. Now, in recognition of her remarkable career, uh, Tiffany itself established the Elsa Peretti Professorship uh, in Jewelry Design at FIT, and it was one of the first professors uh, professorships that was established. In uh, 2001, she was given the Honorary Doctor of Fine Arts degree from FIT. She also received the Coty American Fashion Critics Award for Jewelry in, two in 1971. And in 1981, she, uh, she was given the Rhode Island Sco School of Design President's Fellow Award. In 1996, the Council of uh, Fashion Designers of America named her the Accessory Designer of the Year. And this brings us to the culmination of it all. Now, her designs are permanent collections in the British uh, uh, Museum in London, uh, England. And also, they are permanent collections in Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston, and the Museum of Fine Arts in Houston, Texas. And um, this brings us to the kind of legacy that she has left behind. Now, when I was working on this project, one of the things that struck me was what she said. She said that I designed for the working girl, Peretti told people in 1974. She said that what I want is not to become a status symbol, but to give beauty at a price. And one of the ways in which she actually did that was working with sterling silver. Uh, Tiffany had edited silver out of its jewelry collections in 1930s, but Peretti brought it back. And her use of silver broadened the definition of what fine jewelry could be. And it created a whole new class of customer, and that is women buying jewelry for themselves. Few designs maintain their style and beauty for decades, but we have seen that Elsa Peretti's designs are as modern today as they were when she was herself designing those collections. And this, my friends, is Elsa Peretti for Tiffany. And I hope you have liked the uh, entire project that, uh, that was done. And uh, it has left you with a little bit of modernist and uh, minimalist design aesthetic and also understanding how it kind of became uh, a trend of women buying jewelry for themselves uh, affordable jewelry by tiffany that was one of the first and that's it hope you've enjoyed elsa peretti for tiffany this is pallavi sahagal signing off